Your research question is the stage where you take the topic that you've chosen, gain a little bit of clarity on it, and set yourself up to write a really good assignment. It's absolutely essential that you've got a very good idea of the topic that you want to research before you start trying to write the research question. If you haven't already got that, I recommend you go back and watch the video on how to choose a topic. It's really difficult to write a good research question unless you've got a good idea of where you're taking your assignment. It's essential that you make sure you're using the marking criteria throughout the planning and writing process. And that includes when writing your research question. Remember, you'll find the criteria in the subject guide. Ask your teacher if you don't have access to it. For writing a research question, this is the bit that matters. The student's report states a relevant, coherent and focused research question. Let's break that down and find out what it means. First off, let's focus on making your research question relevant. Let's say you're interested in plant life and want to do your assignment on something relating to plants. You've come up with the question, how does the average size of a tomato plant's leaves correlate with the mass of fruit produced? Well, sure, you could do some research on that, but where's the environmental issue? Where's the link to society? You have to choose a topic that's relevant to the ESS course. Next, coherent. Students sometimes feel like they have to be super formal when writing the question. Look at this example. To what extent might one observe there to be a measurable change in the level of air particulate matter as one gains distance measured in meters from the highway? Look at it carefully and it sort of makes sense, but it could be a lot more clear if the language wasn't so complex. Just remember, kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Or at least, start simple. How about, how does distance from the highway affect air pollution? Now, that's not a great research question yet because it's not very focused, but it is coherent and it's a good starting point. So that leads us on to focused. Let's stick with the idea of air pollution and the highway. We're going to take samples of air pollution at different distances from the road and look for a trend. So here's our question. The problem is, the answer to this question might be a bit or a lot. It should be more clear from the question what the answer will look like. Just ask yourself, what data am I collecting? What are my variables? So here's an improvement. How does distance from the highway affect the concentration of particulate matter in the air? My variables are distance from the highway and concentration of particulate matter and they're now clearly stated. We're getting more focused. Next is the word effect, which suggests that the change in distance somehow makes the pollution level change. Think about it like this. What can your data actually show? Is it that the distance from the highway is causing a change in air pollution level? Or is it that the distance from the highway correlates with the change in air pollution level? We're talking about causation versus correlation. Often in environmental or ecological studies, our data shows correlation. So let's update our question to, how does distance from the highway correlate with the concentration of particulate matter in the air? By now you might be thinking, but it's the cars on the highway that cause the pollution, right? Well, yeah, probably. But does the data you collect provide evidence of that? If you want to discuss a causal relationship, and you often will, you can. Part of the identifying the context criteria requires you to discuss the relevant environmental issue and explain the connections between the environmental issue and the research question. So you can present that argument in your assignment but leave your research question focused only on what the data offers. Lastly, which highway? Is the data you collect going to be relevant to highways all over the world? Are you collecting data at highways all over the world? If your research question is focused in one location, name it. How does distance from the R82 highway in Johannesburg, South Africa correlate with the concentration of particulate matter in the air? Now that is a relevant, coherent, and focused research question. 
So to write a really good research question, you've got to be mindful of four things. First of all, start simple. Second, consider your variables and make sure they're very obvious from the question. Be mindful of correlation versus causation and be specific by mentioning a location and or a species or whatever details are relevant to your assignment. 